Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name's Ardell, and today's video is all about a Porsche Boxster S that we've upgraded with a full sound system upgrade. It's part of the Behind the Sound series, but today is the final video on the vehicle because we are all done. Today's video is going through everything right from the very beginning right to where we are now, and I'm sure you're gonna love this one. But before we get on to today's video, make sure you guys at home have subscribed to our YouTube channel because we've got a massive competition live on our channel at the moment. We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 as well as an Audison Prima amplifier. All the details are in the description below. However, let's get on with today's video. So the vehicle came in with the Ask amplification system, which is the mid-level tier Porsche upgrade that they had. So they had non-amplification, Ask amplification and then Bose. So what is actually involved in the system? So it had a three-way system from stock. We made a tweeter, a mid-range and a mid-base. All of those three plus the amplifier has actually been upgraded on the install. In terms of what we've got in here, we've actually got a six and a half inch woofer. This is from the Hertz Millet Pro range. It's a six and a half inch woofer that gives so much mid-base. The excursion from the cone is seriously phenomenal. Sits into a stock location, which is exactly what the customer was after. Having a very discreet looking system that overall increase in volume, increase in mid-base, and just that overall sound stage really, really crystal clear. In terms of moving up in the frequency range, and again, in a stock location, we've got the Hertz Melee Pro three inch mid range. And this is all comprising of a three way kit. So we've also got a Hertz Melee Pro tweeter, which we'll talk about shortly. In terms of these in the door, these are actually quite good locations for mid bass and mid range speakers, providing a really nice sound stage in the vehicle. But also when that roof is down, providing that really nice sound that gives us the clarity that we're gonna need, but also that mid bass performance that really does fill the cabin inside this Porsche. So yes, that overall mid bass performance in the car has been upgraded and it sounds phenomenal. However, the higher frequencies, how is that being dealt with? We're using the Hertz Mule Pro tweeter into a stock location right on top of the dashboard. Obviously, as a location on these Porsches, we do two different options. And let us know what your thoughts, whether this is a nice looking system or you'd prefer to see something else on the next install. We've gone for a stock location here, which is a phenomenal still. It makes a massive, massive difference to the sound stage in the vehicle. But using the Hertz Mule Pro tweeter, we mostly use that tweeter in this configuration not only because of the mid base performance, but also because the you know, Pro Tweeter can sit into a stock location. The other thing we can obviously do on the vehicle as well is build out custom A-pillars, which brings tweeters on axis, building a better soundstage in the vehicle. But obviously it's a compromise always on these things, whether you want a stock look system that's completely reversible, or we add elements of customizations, which we can also do in a, in a reversible way as well. But sitting inside the vehicle, it's really nice to be sitting in here with a stock look system all behind factory grills. But the only cosmetic change that we've got in the vehicle is that Pioneer head unit which is the source of the actual unit itself in terms of the sound but this unit has so much functionality wireless android auto and wireless apple carplay so a little pack full of functionality live in one place but with our custom look here it looks phenomenal but also there'll be a full video when that goes live so make sure you guys at home have subscribed but let's talk about amplification you might be thinking, how is the system actually powered? We've got the functionality live on that Pioneer unit with all that CarPlay and interaction of phone capability live directly in there, but you've also seen the speakers and where they're all located. But in terms of the system power, and this is where a lot of the detail comes into. It's in the amplification, but customer didn't want to have any loss of space, plus also didn't want to take up any room whatsoever. So what we've achieved is actually adding in the Auto Supreme amplifier into this little cubby hole here, completely tucked out of the way. This is a Prima 8.9 amplifier. So you've got eight channels of amplification and nine channels of processing power. So if the customer wants to add a sub later on, we can do, and we can actually process that power too. All eight channels on the system are being used to run the six speakers. And you would have seen in our tuning video, link for it is up here if you missed that one. But what that is, is actually going through a little bit more detail about how the processor and how the tuning side of the system actually makes a world of difference to it. But a very compact class D amplifier that's hidden away, out the way, out of sight, but providing a lot more clarity, a lot more volume to the system, plus a lot more mid bass and letting those speakers perform exactly how the car should have sounded when it came out of the factory. 
one essential part to doing any system is soundproofing the vehicle. You would have heard me banging on about this in plenty of videos. It's because it's so essential. Soundproofing, we've done skins three mil layer as we do on a lot of vehicles, building a far better acoustic environment for the sound system to work in, getting rid of those horrible rattles and resonations that you get from factory door cards, as well as reducing that road noise that you're getting as well. I want to give you guys a little bit of a sound test to show you the different soundproofing makes. I'm going to knock on this panel and then knock on this panel which isn't soundproof and show you the real difference. Hopefully it comes across well on camera but so that's nice and solid and then I go to a non-soundproofed area so you can hear it's very very tinny on that panel and that's what that skin soundproofing is doing building that better environment for the speaker system to work in obviously with our custom adapters as well so elements of 3d printed side have also gone into this to get a system sounding absolutely incredible Hopefully you guys at home have enjoyed today's video. You've seen start to finish the whole project. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go check out all of the previous videos on this car. The links for everything you need is in the description below, as well as all our social media links. And remember guys, we've got that massive giveaway at the moment as well. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, and also like and share the video with friends and family. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon.